morning guys, so I thought I'm gonna vlog today. I have 10 minutes to have my breakfast and to leave the house and the postman is supposed to come in 15-20 minutes so I guess I'm gonna miss him. I did my makeup already which is super simple. I did it super quickly because I overslept. How cool is that? And I have a midterm exam. I was supposed to wake up at 8 and now it's half past 11 so I have to leave in 10 minutes without any studying. So I have about 3 minutes to eat my Cheerios. Cheerios I think might just be my favorite cereal ever and I have to be really really quick they have vitamin D which is great because I don't go out a lot in the sunshine and here's my coffee which I'm gonna take with me to uni because there's no time to drink it hi so I'm done with my midterm it was a midterm from business communications class i told you guys i had to wake up at 8 to study for this exam because yesterday i didn't have any time and usually i like to procrastinate and leave it for the last minute the last night for studying which i know is very bad and i somehow didn't hear my alarm i had three alarm clocks set and um i basically overslept and it's only thanks to the courier uh, who wanted to deliver my package who called me and woke me up otherwise I would have missed my lecture how bad is that <laughs> I can't believe it and so I didn't study anything well yesterday I read two pages from from the book um, for revising but um, because I listen very attentively during class and I take notes um, I had it all in my head, so it wasn't that difficult, and plus the, the topic wasn't very hard. It was how to effectively write business messages, emails and stuff, and business communication. Basically, it was mostly about writing business messages. And so it's kind of like the topic, even if you haven't read, you may uh, know those things already. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> He's hungry. I have to. I have to feed him. So I'm back home, and if you guys are wondering whether I kept this Topshop jumper or not, I decided not to because the price is way too high for what it is, and the model just looks very awkward on me. As I said, it looks like it's a jumper from my childhood. The model and the length and the fact that the fact that it's slightly cropped, I don't know, it doesn't work. As much as I love hearts, as much as I love my burgundy color and light blue color, this just doesn't work. Um, and I would pay like 10 pounds for it maximum, but not not 38 pounds. I think that's excessive. I wonder if it will fit in this envelope. I don't think so. So I have to return that to Topshop. I also have to send this out to uh, one of my subscribers. She bought this from me yesterday. My Babel is Boutique Softwave, so I'll... And she's from Claypad actually, so I wish I knew that. I would have given it to her in person, but I'll have to go to the post office to send it out. And now I'm gonna open this box. I know it should be... A perfume. Yep, I was right. It's the new perfume from DKNY. I was sent this. I didn't buy it myself. This is uh, like a PR sample. And so this is the new My New York by DKNY perfume. And I know that Rita Ora is a face for this one. So I'm very excited to try it out. I hope this will be nice. And I had the Be Delicious fragrance, which uh, I'm not a fan of, I gave it to my mom, but hopefully this will be nice. I really like the packaging, this heart. I love hearts. It is a fruity floral, but it's more sophisticated because it has patchouli and I feel like it has some woody notes. And mm, it's really nice. Even though it's super sweet, it's nice. It falls in the same category as Miss Dior Cherie, I would say, and Victor and Rolf. Flower bomb. I'm not crazy about flower bomb, but it does have very similar notes to it. I have to wear it for a couple more hours. Now it's an extremely, extremely intense fruity floral. 
with lots of patchouli. Not sure if it's totally my scent, but it's, it's nice. So thank you to the company who sent this perfume to me. That's a really sweet gift and the packaging is cute. Lee, do you like it too? I'm so hungry, I'm gonna go have some lunch now and then I'm gonna finish writing my movie review, go to the post office and go to my last class. Okay, so I have about 15 minutes to work on my movie review and I'm having some jelly gums. Some sour, yummy jelly gums. My dad actually bought these for me, he knows I love these, so that's great. So I just came back from the shops with mom. We went to Sanuki because every Wednesday they have 30% off for everything there. And so I um, got this kitty clean uh, for Louis litter box. I don't know, some new sort of uh, sand for, for cats. Got two packs and then I got him this bed which is so nice and so soft and cozy looking and the price was great so I really hope you like it it's very cute look the color is really nice as well and it's so fluffy and soft you can take it out if you want this thingy so let's see let's see if you like it mm. so cute in it but I'm not sure if he likes it yet. Um, then I got him this tray for food which I thought is so cute and so beautiful. Look at that it's ceramic. I don't like these orange bits at all but um, has a cute cat face. He prefers this plastic thing. It's a weirdo. Then I got this candle uh, with cinnamon, which actually I'm not a big fan of cinnamon, but this one smells really nice and cozy and Christmassy. Then I got him this fishy because he likes this kind of toys. Uh, he's not in the mood to play now. Then I got him this color. Which, I don't like these colors with little like balls or like jingly bells um, because they, I think they're very annoying for cats and they make too much noise. This one is really nice, thin leather color. And then I got this charm, sparkly paw to put on this color and I think it will look really cute on him. Let me put it on. This candle is amazing. Actually, it has a very nice vanilla -y and almost chocolatey scent to it. Not very cinnamony, which I love. <laughs> I'm not sure he's enjoying the color. He's trying to take it off. It looks so cute. Why don't you like it, Lee? He loves the fish. Lee? She go play. <laughs> He's trying to take it off. Why oh, yeah, you look cute with it? Why are you trying to take it off? <laughs> I made it really loose so it doesn't, you know, uh, it doesn't hurt him. It's very loose. Looks nice. Looks nice on you. have to make him like his bed. I don't know how. Hey, Lee seems to finally like his bed. I took out this cushion that was inside because he doesn't really like it. It makes some sound, so I guess he doesn't like that. And I put this little, uh, like, n n it's kind of like a blanket, but not really. It's just like a cloth that um, he came with <laughs> and that people put in his box when I got Louis, so he likes this one. And I think he will love his pet now. <laughs> you are so cute.
I'm so happy I received my final book. I can film a book haul for you guys. Oh, the cover is so beautiful. Absolutely love it. It has camellias and skulls and oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know what I will do. I think I will just relax and rewind because it was such a full day and I had three classes and stuff. I'm kind of tired. And I had my midterm exam in the morning and stuff. And my aunt came back from Milan. She went there for a week or so. And she brought me back Italian Vogue. And there was uh, this Casa. And then Vogue Fashion Dubai Experience. So I think I'm gonna just lay down with a cup of tea. And then flip through my Vogue magazine. So I've got my candle burning. This is vanilla candle that I got in the Remy shop and it smells really really nice nice and vanilla -y. but I don't get why the sticker has flowers on because it's not floral it's very sweet and vanilla -y. I'm just gonna have my tea I made myself twinnings earl grey with some milk I saw tons of new videos that I have to catch up on I watched this um, day to night routine from Amelia Liana. Um, I'm gonna watch this new video from Elise from Norway. Hi Elise if you're watching. I'm gonna watch her video. Oh I'm so happy about this one. This is Esti's new vlog. I started watching it, watched 14 seconds and I had to go so I'm gonna watch that one. Hi Elise. Oh she has the same necklace like me from Mango. Who has joined me? <laughs> He's just chilling there, watching Esty's vlog with me. He's loving it. Right, Louis? Right, Louis? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. Oh, he's boring. By the way guys, update on the perfume, I still have some of it on my wrist but pretty much all of it is gone and I don't like, it doesn't work with my skin, it smells, now it smells like it's some old perfume that has gone off, you know it has that really dirty after smell and it's pretty much gone, like I cannot smell most of the notes. And um, yeah, it's been a few hours, so it's a, not a very long-lasting perfume. I guess it's one of those perfumes that you have to wear on your clothing rather than your skin uh, for it to last, because it doesn't really last on your skin that well. So yeah, just a little update and I'm gonna continue my Estes vlog and my tea. <laughs> so I'm just watching um, Zoeva brush unboxing and kind of review first impressions video by Elise and she has the rose gold set which I've wanted for a long time I really want to get this brush set so if any of you guys have this set or have tried it or have tried any of the Zoeva brushes let me know how you like them because I would love to, to get the rose gold set as well and um, yeah just started watching her video so I'll see um, how she likes it, how she likes the brushes and this one is just so cute, I can't get over it mm, this candle is amazing guys, go and get it, it's really inexpensive and it smells so good and the scent is like really natural smelling and so warm and beautiful good night guys